how to edit homepage on BigCommerce. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to edit homepage on BigCommerce. As you can see on my screen right now, this is where you're going to start. This is the most basic theme BigCommerce is going to provide you. Most people use this theme because it is very minimalistic and easy to use. You can easily navigate up here in the navigation buttons, the different parts of your page. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna edit our home page. We're going to press storefront and we're gonna click customize. Now as you can see here, this we can now see every element of our page so that we can edit it. As you can see right now, this we have a purple box and a blue box. The blue box is where you can drag your different widgets. This, this on the left side on the page builder are the different widgets. If the different widgets are layout, text, image, hero banner, carousel, video, product, and product set. In this purple box called global region, if you put a, a widget here, let's put a text and let's gonna say hello. This message will now then appear on every page of your website. For example, the bat page, the garden page, it will display the word hello. But if you drop it on the blue page, the blue box over here, it will only appear on the specific page that you have placed it. Now we're gonna go here on the team styles. On the team style, you can see on the this left side a multiple amount of options. Styles will allow you to change the style of your website to from light which is what we are seeing right now to bold which is a much darker appearance of the page let's wait for it to load as you can see it has a darker background and darker theme style to our page it called there's also the theme warp It is similar to the light, the light style, but it is it feels much more warmer because of the different type, different color. Now we're gonna go back. I put it back to the light style. Now down here at the global, this is where you can edit every single part of your homepage. By every single part, I mean every single color. For example, the banner background, page background, body text, links headings everything if you don't like the style the colors of the style you can change the color over here for example let's change page background to cool color gray as you can see here the background of our web page has been changed to a grayish color now let's put it back and let's move on okay in the header or footer you can also change the color of the header and the footer. The header is this coffee world up here. Coffee world, let's change it to black. When changing it, you can see the, the color of the coffee, the background of the coffee world has been changed to dark color. As you can see, black would not be a good option because it would make it harder for our, for the users of the page to see. And now we're gonna put it back to the original. It did let's change this back to the original because it did not change earlier. It's back to normal. Now over here the home page is this is where we're gonna focus for today. In this home page we can change the parcel options, header text, products, on how many products is gonna be displayed over here. Now this, this carousel, this is called the carousel where the image are changing. You can change different options like remove the carousel arrows or you can see the, the arrows are removed or remove the carousel uh, entirely. Let's wait for it to Now we can no longer see the carousel. We can also change the amount of products to be displayed. The feature products are the products that you have sold. It uh, it isn't showing right now because we have no 
we have not sell, sold anything yet and we're going to change the popular product we're going to disable the popular product and as you can see it no longer displays it you can also change other parts of it like change show product swatch name show shop by price show product review anything in this area you can change it a lot of it the the things you want to change here are depending on your creativity and the, and the preference for your website now we're going to go back to the widgets and we're going to add a product set in product set you can add specific products that you want to add on in this area we're going to click add products and let's gonna let's say towel towel we're gonna click here and as you can see it will add the product towel in this area could also say let's add another product let's click there are you and it's gonna load here the good thing about this widget is that you can arrange it or depending on what you want if not you change it here it will change also here so you can arrange whichever product you want to go first going back let's add another widget let's add the widget image now then, as you can see you can you can view whatever image you're going to upload over here you can upload an image by clicking this then clicking on whatever you have uploaded from before i'm going to pick this because i have already uploaded it you can see it will appear here you can change the different you can delete widgets by clicking this delete button on the upper left corner like for example here we're gonna we're gonna try deleting this and it's gonna remove it and we can add another widget it, uh, I don't there's no limit on how much widget you, you want to add you can add video you can add multiple things depends on you now up here you can click preview which lets you see the current state of your website you can also click this tablet preview which lets you see what your website would look like on the tablet you can also click mobile which lets you see how it would look like on the mobile and that's it Editing the whole page revolves around the widgets and the theme styles. So everything that you want to add, you can add anything, you can edit anything, it depends on your preference. And this is it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.